Uh, my name is Frank Four. Uh, I'm a cardiovascular surgeon. Do uh, cardiac surgery, lung surgery, and vascular surgery. Uh, practice at St. John's Hospital, and have done so for almost 30 years. An endograft uh, is a um, graft that we place on the inside of the aneurysms. Uh, that's why it's called endo, because it's inside. Uh, the old way of treating aneurysms was to open up a body cavity, remove the aneurysm, and replace it with a graft. Uh, the aneurysm was removed at that time. Now we can go up through arteries in the groin and place the graft inside the aneurysm, diverting blood away from the aneurysm, uh, making it much easier on patients because we use uh, much smaller incisions. Yeah, it's conventional surgery. It's uh, just like uh, any surgery except that we make small incisions in the groin. The endograft is actually housed inside of a catheter. Um, the catheter is uh, positioned uh, with uh, control uh, with the guidance of x-ray equipment. We can position that endograft in the exact location that we want and then deploy it by pulling back on the catheter uh, uh, and putting the, the uh, endograft inside of an aneurysm. Uh, endografts are much easier on patients. If you don't have a large incision in your abdomen, uh, then uh, the patients can recover a lot quicker. The incisions used for uh, endograft repair are small incisions in the groin. The arteries are accessed. The endograft goes inside the blood vessels so that uh, the patients are home much quicker, they have much less pain, they're back to more uh, normal activities in a very shorter period of time. Well, robotics is a relatively new um, approach. Uh, we're using it for thoracic cases at this time. No cardiac surgery is done in Tulsa at this time. However, there are people around the country that are doing that. Uh, we're uh, uh, trying to get better at robotics so that we can uh, eventually do that. But right now we are uh, doing lung surgery, taking out lobes, masses in the chest and that sort of a thing. They've improved our approach because we don't have to use big incisions. A, long, a big thoracotomy, a large incision on the chest, people usually spend five to ten days in the hospital. It takes them two to three months to get over an incision like that. It hurts a great deal because we have to spread the ribs. Uh, the robot uh, uses small instruments so we can go in between the ribs, don't have to spread the ribs, so the pain is much, much less than it was with a, uh, is with a large thoracotomy. Uh, people stay in the hospital three or four days uh, and really are, are back to doing normal activities within a week to ten days probably.